Hi, and welcome to Flexible Solar Panels for Residential Strata. So we've got these flexible, lightweight solar panels coming into the market. They're up to 70% lighter than conventional glass panels, and they're now passing all the tests they need to be safely installed on our residential strata buildings. There's lower installation costs with flexible solar panels because you're not paying for a racking or mounting system. Flexible solar panels are silicon directly onto a concrete roof or a color bond roof. And some people are going to say, well, is the production of the solar because they're laying flat less than when they're tilted at 15 to 30 degrees? And that is correct. About 11 to 13 percent solar output is lost when it's installed flat. Now, the next question people ask is, can this pass a structural assessment? And these flexible solar panels now can conform to all these different Australian uh, New Zealand standards. Of note, at the end, after they're silicon downed, they're put through a pull test where uh, it's verified that they're tightly enough bonded onto the roof that they won't uh, fly off due to wind gusts. The next positive point about these flexible solar panels is it's easy to uninstall and reinstall them if you want to do, for example, a waterproofing repair on a strata building roof. So while they're silicon down, uh, they can easily be cut off and uh, a roof repair can be done underneath and then they can be siliconed back down again onto the roof. These panels also have a hydrophobic property. So that means water actually coalesces on them and this can aid in self-cleaning. Here are some examples of the flexible solar skins or solar panels being installed in different environments around the world. And here are a few more. They're also installed at Zero Carbon Park in China and uh, on a train in Byron Bay. When it comes to strata buildings, Harbour One in Docklands in Melbourne installed 87 of these skin panels, both horizontally and vertically, and they're saving up to $6,000 per year. The flexible panels have also been installed up in Nooseville, and here's a, a photo that shows you how flexible they are uh, in terms of when they're being laid down. They can also be laid on curved surfaces. Here's a great shot of the flexible solar panels on the Sydney Maritime Museum. And the first company that's uh, brought these to market in Australia is called Sunman. And uh, it comes out of uh, University of New South Wales. So if we look at um, uh, the father of solar, Prof Professor Martin Green, he said the market needs something like this, something light that you can put on a roof that's not sturdy enough to take the full thing. So these can also be put on roofs uh, that might not be able to handle the weight of a traditional solar system. Also, Vertitech is coming to Australia in uh, Q3 of 2021, which will be the second company uh, that's bringing this lightweight, flexible solar product into the Australian market. Apparently, it's been installed on some boats in Australia already and soon will be coming to residential strata buildings. Mm -hmm.